things. Deuteronomy 8, that's what, that, that's what the, the real sin is about. They said, God, test them, Deuteronomy 8, verse 3, to prove them that they would understand that man would not live by bread, but by the word. So the manna that he gave them, that they was not satisfied with, was something given to them which was a type of spiritual food that did not satisfy their desire because they were not quickened into it. Bless the name of the Lord. But it was given to them that they would understand that you don't live by food. You've got to live by the word of God. Bless the Lord. I don't think we should stop with that. Glory to God. Because we are not like them. No. If we are like them, then we are not going anywhere. We are making some of the conditions that was up on them. And sad to say, because they were not spiritual. They were given spiritual exercise. The place that they were coming from. And the place they were going to, which was supposed to be a place of rest. They enter not in. All right, they enter not in. Because the word that they received, they could not receive it by faith. And they die in the wilderness. The word of God say that. They die in the wilderness because the word did not profit them. Because it was not mixed with faith. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed the name of the Lord. But Paul warned us who was supposed to be in a better position than this. And said, let us stay for now fear, lest the promise being left us, for enter into that race. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because we saw what happened to them, because they actually ate manna in the wilderness. And they could not actually understand that the manner that was given them was given to them to test them. Yes. If they would understand that the, the manner mm. was something that was telling them that there was something that yes. would take place in them that would be inward and not outward. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Paul said, we must fear. Yes. Because we are not supposed to be like them. Amen. Amen. Am I right? Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Glory to God. Thank Bless you. the name of the Lord. Thank you. We have heard actually the message of reading. Bless the Lord. Yes. By those who share, especially our beloved brother. Thank you. Lord. Yes. And I just want to see if I could bring a little bit more. And then somebody said to speak up. Uh, shut up and sit down. <laughs> Uh, the standing in the evil days. Yes, sir. Standing in the evil days. Mm -hmm. It is all right to stand when things are going well. Yes, that's right. That's yes, right. Amen. But when we are confronted. With conditions that is threatening. Yes. And to stand within the face of adversity. Yes. And those who, when we look at them, our life is threatened. And to stand to face and fight. Not running away. But stand to fight. And fight to win. Yes, yes. It is not easy. No. The evil day is a time when we are challenged to stand, yes. not to run. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that as I listened to our beloved Sister Eva last night, Sister Eva described in a message that we are in warfare. Yes. Yes. And if you are in 
warfare, every, uh, in our message last night, she said that every one of us that is born again are born soldiers. Yes. That's what she said. So I'm not saying something new. All right. If you are born a soldier, you are not a born a soldier to actually sit down and just be dressed in a uniform and have exercise in training how to fight. Soldiers are trained to fight. And in the place that we are trained, we don't, as she said last night, we don't fight each other. We fight together. And I believe Paul in one place writing somewhere to Timothy said, No man that war entangled himself with the fears of this life. I think Paul was teaching Timothy. Yes, no, we're talking about fighting now. Yes. Fight standing in the evil day. Fighting and standing in the evil day. Paul said, No man that war yes. entangled himself with the fears of this life. That he would be able to please him for calling to be a soldier. Glory to God, so my sister said, each born again person, each born again person is born a soldier. That's what she said last night. Thank you. Because it's more fear. We are born ready to fight. Thank you. Thank That's if you're born again. Yes. <laughs> but you notice the type of fight it is not. And in 2 Corinthians 10 4, she quotes last night. Yeah. For the weapon of our warfare <laughs> is not torn, <laughs> but is mighty. I mean, power Thank you. Thank you. to God yes, in the pulling down oh, of strong hope. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank so Paul said, no man that war can turn it himself. Yes. So it is not, it is not flesh and blood. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Oh, glory to God. Against principalities, against power, against the rulers of darkness of this world. Oh, praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I don't know if you agree with me, but I want to say something, and if the rest of you may be able to bear me out of it. Mr. Cameron is one of them, rulers of the world.
Praise the Lord. Yes. <laughs> you're just starting. You're coming to the end of it. Yes. Yes. And it is a time. Glory to God. We are talking about him today. Yes. It is a time when things reach to the place. That you've got to stand up and be counted. Yes. Yes. And the, who serve you the faith? <laughs> where your strength is? That's, the That's where you're going to win or you're going to lose. Hallelujah. Who you're fighting with? Right. If they're winning, you will win with them. Yes. If they're losing, no. you will lose with them. Because it is a final, yes. conclusive yes. time. Of what you're doing, finally, that's what you have in the scripture. I didn't put it there. No, finally, yes. So we can bring ourselves up to date with what we have as we speak about even day, Pastor Scott. Thank you. I control our attention to in my spirit some stuff that is in scriptures. It was necessary that God called Abraham. Yes, he did. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. Make a promise to him yes, yes, yes. that he would give him a son. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that in the final operation of the blessing through Abraham, he would create a people. Is that right? Yes, sir. You will create a people. Yes, but in that people, in that people, Pastor Scott, all the families of the head will be blessed. Oh, praise the Lord. 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 And to finalize the operation. As God promised Abraham in the beginning, Abraham was called out yes, he was. of his environment. Yes, he yes, yes. Glory to God. And to travel yes, yes. to reach the place yes. where the final blessing yes. was promised. Thank you. The blessing of rest. Yes. Thank you. There's a starting point yes, and a traveling process. Yes. While you're traveling, it's not final yet. There was a special promise given to Abraham that God was going to give him a son. Yes, 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 yes. And in that son, we get weary sometimes of the scriptures and the correct interpretation when we are not quicker. Can I say something here? Yes. You are looking in the book of Ephesians in the dressing Amen. that was provided as you said, Dr. Witter. But before they were taught to dress, Paul you. tell them about the experience that was necessary before they start dressing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. In Ephesians 2, right. he called their attention before they were dressed. Yes. He said, and you, All right. can you be dressed if you're not quickened? No, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you had it quickened. 
said it did, did it?
more power. You don't know what you're doing. You have not understanding of God. For science is given to the believer. Yes. To break the unbeliever. Amen. And in that evil day, Moses was given the sign yes, he was. to pray fear. Well, how are you feel about that? Can you pray for that today? Are you sicker than that? As we hear somebody doing something on the road. We forsake our services of prayer mm -hmm. and fasting, yes, Bible study, yes. and we become uncommitted mm -hmm. in our local churches. You. you don't know who belongs where, you. because anywhere no, Jesus. there is some sorcery mm -hmm. and necromancy mm -hmm. and powers. Manifestation of false work is going on. Mm -hmm. Our churches are empty. Yeah. Sometimes when some of the believers come back, they're sick. Mm. Yes. Confused. Mm -hmm. Oh, glory to God. Churches in trouble. Yes. False teaching. Yes. And Pastor Scott, God did not call you to perform the sign. No. God called you to preach the word. Yes. So that can the sign of yes. deliverance in the soul. Yes. They want you to show a sign of healing and this and that. Why the sign that God performed on them? They neglect it because they're in a gossip state. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Sometimes some folks come back to church in a backslidden state yes. because they, they come back to criticize the place where they claim to God's feet. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This happens so common among us. Yes. Oh! There's no power here. Oh, where did you get saved? Here? Yes. Oh, Did you tell me a sinner? Tell us, tell us. I was still in fornication. Since you claim you find the love, are you still lying? Are you still stealing? Do you feel the joy of the Lord here? Can you raise your hand and shout at the
committed to build? Are you committed to scatter the straw? Thank you. Thank you. Is speaking Hebrew one of another no, no. better than praying together? No, no, no. no.
14 chapter can read it. And the Lord tell him, stay here. Yeah. <laughs> the Egyptian that you see, oh, God. coming after you today. Wait, what? 
brethren, yes, we can get back to those things. Yes, we can. Yes. 